seek I tagged you first so start looking What's up nerds? My name is Corey Bergeron, you're watching Corey Bergeron Recordings, and we're back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I use Melodyne to create harmonies in my productions. Before we jump into it, if you plan on releasing music anytime soon, I recommend using the service DistroKid. DistroKid is a service that allows you to get your music on all the major online music stores and major streaming platforms. That includes Apple Music, Spotify, iTunes, and 150 other places. For just a low annual fee, you are able to upload as much music as you want. You can upload 100 songs, 1,000 songs in a year. And guess what? You get to keep 100% of your royalties. So you can make money off your music. If you're interested in signing up, be sure to use my link www.distrokid.com slash VIP slash what's up nerds. And you will save 7% when you do sign up. And it also supports the channel. So both are good things. DistroKid. It's good. Back into the video. Okay, so in front of me here, I have a Pro Tools session. And I have an instrumental as well as the lead vocal. So let me play this this for you a game of hide and seek I tagged you first so start looking but don't you try and cheat yourself over for nothing cool so this song is called hush it's by my group sour happy and this vocal was tracked while we were also kind of like writing the song. So you can hear that there's a couple little artifacts in it because it's a couple rough takes put together. And we didn't actually track any harmonies. So I'm gonna show you what I would do if I wanted to apply harmonies to this track. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this track. So let's duplicate it, boom. And I wanna add harmonies on just the second and fourth line. So I am going to, I'm gonna look here, I'm gonna take this second line and I'm gonna take this fourth line and I'm going to drag that down onto this track and we're gonna name this track Harm One. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to throw Melodyne on this track and then we are going to hit this transfer button and we're gonna transfer the audio into Melodyne. I tagged you first, so start looking yourself over for nothing. Cool, so after it plays through, you get something that looks like this, and we can play it now in Melodyne. I tagged you first, so start looking. There you go. Yourself over for nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight this entire section, and then I'm going to pitch correct it 100%. And then I'm gonna listen to it and make sure that everything has been pitch corrected properly. I tagged you first, so start looking yourself over for nothing. Sounds good enough to me. So we're gonna grab all these notes here and we're gonna drag it up. And this is actually a major third where this note lands. Let's give this a listen. I tagged you first, so start looking. It doesn't sound right. So this is where having a basic understanding of music theory comes in or just having a trained ear. So I'm hearing that these notes up here, everything that's on this D should go up to an E flat. And I tagged you first, so start looking. This is too low. I tagged you first, so start looking. That sounds right. Yourself over for nothing. That sounds right. I tagged you first. I tagged you Okay, let's hear that now in relation to the main track. I tagged you first, so start looking. Cool, we're gonna leave that there for now. Now, we are going to create another harmony. We're gonna create a second harmony. So we're gonna just duplicate this, keep the inserts on it. I'll drag this audio down, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna rename this track to Harm 2. And then if I open up Melodyne, I will see. I tagged you. So that's the first harmony we created. So let's reset all pitch changes. And then let's 100% tune it again, pitch center it. And now we're gonna actually create a lower harmony. So let's drag this down. I tagged you first, so start looking. So same thing. Some of the notes are in key, some of them are definitely not. So let's figure this out. I believe these guys need Look. to. I tagged you first, so start looking. That's better. I, I tagged you first, so start looking. Yourself over for nothing. Yourself over for nothing. Yourself over for nothing. Cool. That works. So now we have these three tracks and they sound like this. I tagged you first, so start looking. So two things. One, the timing and the tuning 
are so locked in that it sounds a little unnatural. And then two, obviously because I've manipulated the vocals, they do sound a little synthetic. So let's address number one. Let's try and mess up the timing and the pitch a little bit just to make it feel a little bit more natural. So I'm gonna jump into Melodyne again. So if you go up here to the top left and click on edit and go to add random deviations, you can see that you can add random pitch deviations and add random timing deviations. So let's go with a moderate pitch deviation and let's go with a moderate timing deviation on the first harmony. Let's see what that sounds like in relation to the main vocal. I tagged you first, so start looking. So you can hear a little bit of the timing. That's good. And let's head on over to the second harmony and let's do the same thing. Use your ear here, figure out which one works best for you. I like the timing to be a little off, but I don't want it to be like super far off because then it sounds distractingly out of time. So let's hear the three vocals now. I tagged you first, so start looking. It almost sounds thicker now because of the little timing and pitch variations, which are good. And Let's pan these out a little bit. Now you could still argue that they sound a little synthetic, but once I drag them down a little bit in volume, and they kind of sit behind the main vocal, and I bring up the track to a more reasonable level, let's see how they blend in like this. A game of hide and seek. I tagged you first, so start looking. But don't you try and cheat. Yourself over for nothing. If I was actually creating these harmonies for this track, I would probably not have it on that last part there. But as you heard on the second line, I tagged you first, so start looking. If you heard that and you didn't know that I created those harmonies out of the main vocal using Melodyne, you would totally believe that that was just performed like that. So that is how you can create really quickly and really simply harmonies out of the main vocal using Melodyne. Now this is a great tool. This is something I use in a lot of productions whenever I need to. And there's different circumstances as to why you would need it. Sometimes it's like this, where the singer lives 10 hours away from you. You tracked some vocals while you're writing the song and then you completed the instrumental and now you only have the main vocal to work off so you have to get creative that way. Or I've even done it in the case where you're trying to wrap up a song and the singer blows their voice and you just kind of have to do what you gotta do. It's also a great tool for when you're demoing. I've done projects where I've remotely produced a track, they send over the original demo and then they have a main vocal line and then I'm able to arrange a bunch of different vocal parts out of that main line, send it back to them. They have a clear concrete reference of what they need to track. They'll track it and they'll send it back. So it's a great tool. It's up to you to kind of figure out all of its uses. Um, it's something that I use all the time. Melodyne is a plugin that would be in my top five plugins I would buy if I had to rebuy everything else. Quick little bonus too. I would recommend trying this out if you have a guitar like Lead DI. You can get really creative that way in creating cool little harmonies within guitar parts. So yeah, that is basically gonna do it for this video. This is how I create harmonies using Melodyne within my productions. If you want to improve your mixing, you can head on over to my Patreon page and if you become a patron, you can download multi-tracks for all the songs that I've done an In The Mix video for on this channel. So you can go through, you can mix the track yourself to practice and then you can come watch how I mix the track in my videos. Also, I have a second tier, which is a higher tier and if you sign up for that, you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one lessons with me. If you're struggling with a mix, I can give you actionable feedback on how to improve that mix as well as if you're trying to learn drum editing or tune vocals or anything else, we can do a one-on-one -on -one lesson to help you along with your audio journey. Be sure to join my Discord server. There will be a link for that and everything else below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And that is it for the video. My name is Corey Bergeron. Create more, create more, create more. And I'll see you in the next video.